Welcome to the Tisch WNAT studio here in the heart of Lincoln Center. It is my honor and pleasure to introduce, for the first time <laughs> here in public broadcasting, Beth Fowler, an actress who is uh, one of the stars in a hit Netflix series called Orange is the New Black. You play uh, Sister Jane? Sister Jane Ingalls, yes. And do you have any experience um, involved with Catholic school or nuns or anything like well, that? Well, a tad. Yes, you do? Uh, 16 years of Catholic education, and I went to Caldwell College for Women, as it was called then. A Dominican now, school. Oh, you know. Yes, I do know these um, things. But it, was, it is now uh, Caldwell University. Yes. But I attended there because I intended to enter the convent in my junior year. You were going to be a nun? Yes, I was. And I had the charities in grade school in Jersey City, and then I had the Dominicans, and I, I loved them both. You mean the sisters of the charity? You have yes. to explain to those who may not be in oh, our. Right. Oh, you know. sorry, yes. But I liked the costumes of the Dominicans, <laughs> the, the white with the black, and I, you know. Let me ask you something. I didn't like that little uh, crinkled. Oh, we stop with face. the outfit, okay? Yes. I have to ask you, because I tell you, my, my wife, Jennifer, doesn't like when I say her name, but she'll like this, because she okay. loves your series. She got I me did too. into it. She watched, she's a serial watcher though. She started and that's it. Can't stop. Is Binge. that the way a lot of people are watching? Binging. It's binging, called, yeah. It's called. I'm not serial, but binging watchers. Steve, it's binging. I apologize. This is the word. I got it. Yes. Now that we've found Netflix. Uh, here's the <laughs> thing How'd they get you um, for the series? Well, you know, Beth, you, uh, they're doing a uh, Netflix, Netflix is doing a series um, uh, called Orange is the New Black. They need a nun. I said, Oh, <laughs> you're calling me. And uh, it's just for the pilot in one episode. And would you go in and be sure? So I go and I come out and I meet a couple of friends for a drink before we go to a show. And I said, You know, I had to go. Canal Street, I have to go to three, read three lines, and I'll never hear one again. All the way it's downtown. Such, why am I, at my age, at my re resume, I have to do, you know, blah, 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 blah. And a week later, it's like, I got booked. I went, oh, a pilot and an episode and play a nun? That, that'd be a piece of cake. That'd be fun. She and a nice was, nun? That was three years ago. She a nice nun? She's a good nun. She she's never good, does anything she's bad? She's a good girl. Well, she was bad. She demonstrated once too often and embarrassed the federal government by spray painting on a, a, a federal, uh, in, a, in a nuclear facility in the <laughs> middle of the night, cut through, uh, you know. This is based on a woman's true story. Is this really true? And they, uh, she embarrassed the government so badly that they sentenced her this, this past winter, I think it's like seven years, uh, because she, you know, 83-year-old woman broke into a, one of these places with, and caught them with their pants down. But Why she has was an, she was an activist? Yes. And and Piper Kerman says in the book because the, our show is based, based on, on the wonderful. Book. Everybody should read the book. It's a short read and it really puts everything in perspective. She had no idea that this was going to be the podium for her for that cause that she had to, to raise awareness for problems in, within prison. But um, it was just extraordinary. Uh, I lost my train of thought because I set, set up Orange is the New Black for those who don't know. It is based on it's a women's prison. Yes, okay. and it's set in in Connecticut, in the Connecticut. state of Connecticut, and uh, there are uh, every age, uh, color, cultural background, whatever uh, mix, and um, you're there for whatever length of time you're there for. Some are long term, some are not, coming and going. Why has this series, Orange is the New Black. And by the way, who do we have? Uh, Joanna, help me on this. We had one of the other stars of Orange is the New Black, who is Coming one in? Oh, yeah. Leah Delaria. Oh. The best. Another Broadway girl. Right, and she performed, this was at our series, that one-on-one -on -one at, at New Jersey Performing Arts Center. Oh. She actually performed, she sang, and she's fabulous. Oh, she's a jazz singer. She's yeah. She's the best. She sells out the Palladium. Uh, she's the best. That would well, be in London. Yeah, I know. Good. Let's come back Jersey. to you. Sometimes you're uh, well, like I don't know London. Confused. What are we? That provincial. <laughs> so let's go back. You ready for this? Yes. Explain to folks why this series has connected with so many. Because there are so many stories of so many women from diverse backgrounds, and they are they they tell so many stories from so many cultural backgrounds, um, and each one is different. Each one is totally different. So you learn why they're there, and you see their backstories. And sometimes you don't see their backstories, not yet. But the interaction between the cultural groups and so forth, it's, it's and, just. And the whole idea, sorry for interrupting, the whole idea of Netflix, it's also fascinating to me. Because mm -hmm. first of all, you have to order it. Mm -hmm. You have to say, I want Netflix. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people who I know are ordering Netflix, Netflix because they want Orange is the New Black. Mm -hmm. It's driving people to it. Is that fascinating to you? We increased their subscription rate by millions. Million, I mean, like 40 million or something, because it's international. It's not the whole, entire world, but there are many, many countries that are included in this. Isn't that box, fascinating? You know? It is. 
Nobody's more surprised than I. I mean, I'm a, I'm a Broadway baby. I'm, you know, I'm a theater person. I, I'd done TV and film over the years, but it's not yeah. what I do. And, uh, but this is really quite unique. I, I know you know this, this streaming thing. Yeah, this whole is. new technique is, is, and it was untried. So who knew whether people would like this? There are people who still say to me, it's really hard for me not to binge because, you know, it's there. Binge watch. And it's like binge watch. Can we get more people to With, binge watch? You know, Do you like, mind if we um, show a clip so more people can binge watch? Oh, sure. All right, orange is the new black, all right? <laughs> yeah. Do you know what the clip is? Uh, I'm not sure. That's right, everybody does. You know what the were, clip is, but you're being coy. You. You're being coy, you no, know what no, this clip is. No, no, there were three clips. Uh, you and don't I, know which one And I know? suggested the one that was about the, the elderly. Is, yeah, that's the one. It is, okay. Let's see, orange is the new black, then we'll talk about it. Oof. Uh, you're good. <laughs> Who were, were you, you were talking to whom there? That was the guy who's in charge. Of the, <laughs> yeah, he's not the warden, but he's in charge of the. He's not a nice here. guy. Actually, he's not a bad guy. He's he's a good guy. Is he trying to do the right thing? Yes, he Sometimes is. Sometimes I can't figure out who's trying to do the right well, thing this in this. Is what, this is what happens in, in, in Orange. I, I will never forget the... Um, can I give it away? Well, no, it doesn't, doesn't matter. Go ahead. Sometimes, well, we all take our arcs. My backstory showed a side of me that even I didn't know. I mean, I didn't. I wasn't told that this is the story. I'm, I'm used to doing a, a play. I, it has a, a beginning, a middle, and an end. I know what the end is. This, I don't know what the. What end do you mean is. you don't know what the end is? You see the script. I see the script of the episode that I'm going to do. That's it. I did not know where where I was going. I was worried when I saw the script. I said, is this what I've been playing for the whole last first season? This is season two. Genji is so smart. Because I was a nun. So tell who you're talking about now? Genji Cohan, who is the creator. Yes. She, who did, uh, created Weeds and blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah is not really that. Blah, 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 but we don't about people like but that. She's but great. she's the genius. She doesn't let you and know where write. the character's going. Well, I, I don't, they have a general, I, my, I don't know what they do at those desks, but they have a general plan. But they are only writing like a few episodes out. They know, but they don't know exactly what they're right. going to do. So uh, this was all a surprise to me, and I was thrilled to death to see, because it was so interesting. But what, what I was uh, starting out to say was, for example, um, one of the men in, in the show, Healy, uh, was that not a flip at the end of the season? When I saw it, when I read it, I went, Oh, not Healy, because he was such a good guy and trying so hard. I know what you're talking about. Being so nice to Piper and yes. all that. And he really meant it. He was really genuine and all and that. Then, and then, well, don't, nice don't, don't give and it up, because some then, people, oh, some people might be no. on the serial watching thing okay, and not there yet. I'm not going to tell, but it's an oh no <laughs> moment. Orange and his new black is about empathy, compassion, yes. about um, relationships, about lesbian relationships. It's we about, it all. what else? It's gay about racism. Day. Gay for this day. Gay for the. Gay for this day. I'm learning at my age, what? Catholic girl. You're in prison. You have nothing. You get together with whoever's there. Just for you there, really? Gay for this day. That's, I had not heard that. That's, that's, what that's a they new taught one. Taught me, Steve. See, Catholic school. Catholic school. Gay yes. for this day was not part of the curriculum. Yeah. I just want to clarify that. Newark, Jersey City, <laughs> was not in the curriculum. Just want to clarify that. Not even in Brooklyn, they didn't allow that. Uh, Beth Fowler. Beth Fowler's actress in Orange Is the New Back Black can be seen on Netflix, whether you serial watch or not. Yes. My wife Jennifer has anyway, good taste. Not only one at a time. People do, yes. do it. You know, like I watch it on Monday nights, or my husband and I have date night on Friday nights. You can do it different ways. And you watch PBS for great educational okay. pro yes. programming, do you not? Yes. Just say Absolutely. yes. Absolutely. Say yes. Well, you know I do. I know you do. Beth Fowler, thank you so much. We love having you oh, here. This was fun. You honor us. Thank you, darling. You're great. Stay there. Okay. We'll be right back right after this. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. This special edition of One on One with Steve Adubato is brought to you from the Tisch WNET studios at Lincoln Center. Funding has been provided by Hackensack University Health Network, County College of Morris, New Jersey Council of County Colleges, MD Advantage, Activists in cooperation with the American Medicine Chest Challenge, TD Bank, and by PSE&G. Promotional support provided by Commerce Magazine and by New Jersey Monthly, the magazine of the Garden State, available at newsstands. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.